we use selections quite a bit here in Photoshop. And one of the, the issues that you'll run into is that if you make a selection and you go under the select menu, you go down to modify, you're going to see that there's a few options in here. And when I click one like feather, which softens the edges of the selection, I really don't know what this is going to do. I don't know what 25 pixels does. There is no preview. There's no way to see it. And so you're kind of just guessing. You'd enter an amount, hit OK, and do whatever you're going to do and hope that it was the best. But uh, the, what I want to show you here is that we do have a way to get a preview. Okay, And it's using a feature that's been around in Photoshop for, uh, since Photoshop CS4. So what we'll do, and, and I want to show you a, an actual example here, is there's a technique where you can darken the edges of a, of a photo or anything really for that matter, but in a very good and tasteful way, but you got to make a selection first and you have to soften that selection. So I'm going to make a selection with the rectangular marquee tool. Now this could be any tool, any selection. We're just using this as an example here. So I've got a selection with the rectangular marquee. I come under here to refine edge. And in my example, I want to use the feather setting, but don't forget, when we were up in that select menu under modify, there's a few other ones like smooth and shift edge, which is uh, shift edge is really the same as uh, contract and expand, which was up under that menu. But feather is the same. What it does is it softens the selection. However, the cool part about it is, is that we can view this. We don't have to just view the marching ants. We can view, because all it does with the marching ants is make a rounded selection. But the selection is actually getting soft and feathered over here too. We're just not seeing it. All we're seeing is this rounded edge here, which isn't very helpful. That's why if we come over here to on black, uh, we can see it on white. You could see a black and white preview of it. So you've got a couple of different options in here that let you see what you're about to get. And it's basically, it's a preview of some of your selection techniques here, some of your selection edges, I guess I should say. So when you go under here to feather, you're gonna see it starts to feather it. And the more I feather, the softer it gets, the less I feather, of course, the less soft that it gets. The key here is that now I've got a preview. Okay, I didn't have this preview anywhere else. So previously, I would have to, you know, set my my feather setting, click OK, hope for the best and come back if it, if it didn't work. But now I've got a preview, you'll see there's a few other ones in here. To get back to the actual technique, I'll click OK, you'll see it goes right back to the original image. All that black overlay was, was just a preview. It was to help me visualize my selection. So now I've got my new selection edge. The, the corners look rounded, but it's not just rounded. Remember, it's feathered. It's a softened, a softened transition between what's over here and what's over here. The way that we can use something like this would be if I go to select inverse, I now select everything but what I just had. I select, I, I don't have the middle selected anymore. I select the edges. I'm going to press command J on the Mac or control J on a PC. That duplicates the layer. If you look at what we had selected, you can see a really good visualization of that transition, that softness that we had. All right. So we go from nothing to a little bit more of the photo out here on the edges. So when I turn my layer back on, the way we can use this is if we change our layer blend mode from normal down here to multiply, you'll see it burns in those edges. It's it, there's there's ways to do something like this in a lot of different places, and they all involve you know adding black or something around the edge. The advantage of this is that it uses the photo itself. Okay, you're using the photo itself to just burn in some of the edges, and if it's too much, just come over here and just reduce your opacity a little bit here. Um, you don't have to keep it cranked up at 100%. But the whole idea behind it is that when we have a selection active, instead of blindly coming under here to the modify options under the select menu, come over here to refine edge and use this instead. And that way you'll kind of get a preview. You can see a little bit more about what your selection is eventually gonna look like. And as you start to move around these settings, you'll see that I get a live preview of exactly the results that I'm gonna get. And that's the whole point with this is you're able to visualize your selections more easily.